Welcome back everybody, welcome back. Yeah guys, as you saw today during the uh, Pokemon present days, we had two weeks of no seven stars and now they're uh, doing it one after the other. So today is already gonna be the first seven star. We're gonna be fighting uh, Venusaur. It's gonna be a ground type. And yeah, as usual guys, we have a one hit strat for this one. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So uh, yeah guys, before I show the strat, uh, yeah, keep in mind, we have that uh, Elite Four competition tonight, but we are gonna do that uh, one hit strat before we continue with the uh, Elite Four. And yeah, it's really, really creeping up on us. It's gonna be, am I seeing this right? One and a half hour. <laughs> so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it guys. And uh, yeah, we're fighting a ground type. A ground type, a ground type has uh, weakness for water, so our type will bring the uh, old school uh, uh, Aqua Tauros. And this is what we're going with uh, this time. With the uh, Aqua Tauros, we're bringing the Cryagonal, we're bringing the Umbreon, and the Ching Pao. And uh, how does this one work? Basically, the Cryagonal does a uh, Frost Breath on the uh, Tauros. The uh, Umbreon, uh, it's a little bit difficult for the Umbreon because it's it, it depends if uh, Venusaur is going to be setting up the sun. And uh, yeah, it, it's basically with the uh, hidden ability Chlorophyll, it's more than likely that he's going to be setting up the sun. So I think for Umbreon, we're going to be starting off with a Rain Dance. Ching Pao is going to do an Attack Chair. And then before Tauros attacks, the Umbreon is going to do a Screech. So let me explain it one more time, guys, because I'm going a little bit too fast. Cryagonal is going to do a Frost Breath. <coughs> Umbreon is going to do a, a uh, Rain Dance. Ching Pao is going to do an Attack Chair. And then before the uh, Tauros goes in, the uh, Umbreon is going to do a Screech. And then finally, if we did everything correct, the uh, Tauros is going to go in with the Attack Wave Crash. And uh, yeah guys, this time I don't have solo strats, maybe I'll do an update tomorrow uh, on the uh, solo strat because as I said guys, this one actually really 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 creeped up on us. So let me show you guys the builds for these Pokemons. Uh, first one is going to be the Tauros, Tauros holding the item Choice Band, trained in 252 attack and 252 speed. It's not a bad idea if you train it in HP since we're out speeding anyway with the attack Wave Crash and the ability Anger Point. Uh, make sure you got the ability Anger Point on it guys because I see a lot of people uh, hopping on our stream with, with Intimidate, Tauroses and stuff like that. The anger point, the ability anger point is uh, is really really important. That's how we uh, boost our uh, Tauros to uh, plus six. Uh, next one is going to be the Cryagonal. Cryagonal trained in 252 HP and 252 defense. Ability is not really uh, not really important with the attack Frost Breath, and this one is holding a White Lens. Make sure it's got the White Lens because uh, Frost Breath is not 100% accurate. Next one is going to be the Umbreon. Umbreon also holding a Wide Lens, trained in 252 HP. Yeah, mine is trained in special defense. Uh, it's it's not a big problem for the Umbreon if you train it in defense or special defense, since he's really really tanky anyway. But mine is trained in 252 HP, 252 special defense with the ability Synchronize, and it needs to have the attacks Rain Dance and Screech. Am I missing one? Yeah, I'm missing one. <laughs> Same thing for the Ching Pao, training 252 HP. Yeah, I would recommend defense rather than special defense. Mine is still trained for the uh, last uh, last uh, uh, seven star that we got, but he, he's holding a focus sash anyway. So I would say 252 HP and 252 defense with the ability uh, Swords of Ruin. It's the only one that he, that he can uh, have, and then the held item focus sash. And yeah guys, why are we bringing the Ching Pao in the first place? Yeah, Ching Pao because of its ability Ruin Swords, it, it uh, decreases everybody's uh, defense if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this time it's a little bit dangerous since we have a, a, uh, a physical attacker rather than a special attacker, but we outspeed anyway. And as long as we have that focus sash on the Ching Pao, I think we'll be more than, uh, more than fine. And uh, yeah, guys, that, that was all for uh, tonight. <laughs> As I said, I had to do it on a really, really short uh, time span this time. So uh, I hope this video helped out, guys. And hopefully, I will see you all tonight during uh, during stream when we're doing this 7-star. Uh, and 
yeah if you found this video helpful guys don't forget to drop a like and if you're new don't forget to subscribe as well that would help out in a major major way and uh hopefully i will see you all during the race guys thank you so much have a good night it's already night for me take good care of yourselves guys and as usual love and peace